dear students consider the equilibrium for the dissociation of a weak acid that is dissociation or ionization of a weak acid acetic acid it like acetic acid acetic acid what is the formula ch3 cooh acetic acid aqueous dissociate to give acetate ion ch3co minus plus h plus i dissociation of acetic acid acetic acid can also be written as ach so this equilibrium can also be written as ach dissociate to give acetate ion can be written as ac minus this is acetate ion plus h plus i for the equation means the same consider the dissociation equilibrium of acetic acid now into this equilibrium if we add if we add more h plus i into this equilibrium if you add more h plus ion into this equilibrium what happens that is h plus ion concentration we increase equilibrium will be disturbed right system will try to decrease the concentration of h plus le chatelier principle if you increase the h plus concentration system will try to system try to decrease h plus concentration in order to decrease h plus concentration in which direction the reaction should proceed the reaction should proceed in the backward direction so in the backward direction h plus gets converted to acetic acid that means equilibrium shift in backward direction that is towards the formation of acetic acid so what happens to the dissociation of acetic acid that is the forward reaction forward reaction reduces dissociation or ionization of acetic acid decreases so by the addition of h plus ion into this equilibria dissociation of acetic acid decreases this decrease in the dissociation of an acid by the addition of h plus ion here this h plus ion we added is already present in the equilibrium so this is called common ion h plus ion is the common ion why it is common the added h plus ion is present in the equilibrium also so if you add a common ion into this equilibrium dissociation of the acid is suppressed dissociation of the acid is reduced because backward reaction increases this decrease in the dissociation of the acid by the addition of a common ion into this is called common ion effect this is a direct consequence of le chatelier's principle common ion effect means the suppression or the decrease in the dissociation of an acid by the addition of a common ion here which was the common ion here h plus ion similarly if you add acetate ion instead of h plus ion if you add more acetate ion into this equilibrium acetate is also common ion no acetate is also already present in the medium so this is the common ion what happens system will try to that is if you increase acetate concentration system will try to reduce it acetate concentration system will try to decrease equilibrium shift in the backward direction that is dissociation of acetic acid reduced or suppressed this suppression in the dissociation of acetic acid by the addition of acetate ion which is common is called common ion effect clear let us write another example if you take the equilibrium of dissociation equilibrium of a base ammonium hydroxide ammonium hydroxide in water dissociate to give ammonium ion aqueous plus hydroxyl ion aqueous clear ammonium ion and hydroxyl ion into this equilibrium that is ammonium hydroxide dissociate to nh4 plus and oh minus into this equilibrium if you add some ammonium chloride into it um ammonium chloride is added to it ammonium chloride is also an electrolyte it dissociate to give ammonium ion and cl minus ion right 
So this ammonium ion is present in this equilibrium also. This is the common ion. Actually, we added a common ion into this equilibrium. Ammonium chloride dissociate to give ammonium ion that is common, common ion. What happens? Ammonium ion concentration will increase. System will try to decrease ammonium concentration. In order to decrease ammonium concentration, the equilibrium will be shifted in the backward direction. So what happens to the dissociation of ammonia hydroxide? Dissociation of ammonia hydroxide is reduced. Most of the ammonia hydroxide will remain undissociated. The dissociation or ionization of ammonia hydroxide is reduced. Common ion effect. So whenever we add a common ion into an equilibrium, into the dissociation equilibrium of a weak acid or base, the dissociation of the acid or base reduced. Called common ion effect. A direct application of Le Chatelier's principle. Normally into solutions having a definite pH will vary on dilution. If you dilute the solution, the pH of the solution will change. Or if you add small amount of acid into it, its pH will change. Or if small amount of alkali is added to a substance, solution, its pH will change. But there are solutions. Solutions can be made such a way that their pH value remains constant even after dilution or even after the addition of small amounts of acid or alkali, pH value remain constant. Such solutions are called buffer solutions. Buffer solutions are the solution which can resist change in their pH. On dilution or by the addition of small amounts of acid or alkali their pH value remain constant. They can resist the change in the pH value on dilution or by the addition of acids or alkalis. Buffer solutions can be prepared by mixing a weak acid and its salt in a proper ratio. Example, acetic acid. Acetic acid is a weak acid plus sodium acetate. This is an example of a buffer. Weak acid salt buffer. Its pH value is a constant. pH value of this buffer is 4.75. The pH value will not change on dilution. Will not change by the addition of small amount of acid or alkali. Buffer solution can also be made by mixing a weak base with its salt. Example, ammonium hydroxide is a weak base and its salt is ammonium chloride. By mixing ammonium hydroxide and ammonium chloride in proper ratio, we get another buffer. The pH of this buffer will be maintained 9.25. It will not vary. Clear? Now, let us consider 